Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is the week of November 9 to 14. This is a love connection message for you, Leo. What is coming forwards, Leo? What is the message for you for the period of November 9th to November 14th? This is for Leo, please. All right. This is a love breathing, love intuitive message for the Leo friends out there. Thank you so much, Leo, for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Shout out to all of my subscribers. Thank you for everything that you do in my channel. Thank you. For guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, um, connect with me on Instagram. The link is down in the description box below of the details of my Instagram account. Check out my online store, the setting, your manifestation candle. It will be available soon. It is free, sh free, sh <laughs> free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading for me. So yeah, within the next 24 hours, we will upload the um, new items, new product in the shop. Okay? So in today's reading, Leo, we will be looking at the past situation, the current energy your energy, your person's energy, predictive outcome and advice. And depending on that, on the message that I'll pick up for today, I'll let you know if there is a need to extend the reading, okay? And to dig further on how your person feels about you, all right? So let's start the reading for you. Um, in, in the past position, Leo, you've got here the Three of Swords, okay? Uh, the Three of Swords speaks about um, underground energy, this is betrayal. Uh, there's a shady business between the two of you. It could be that you and your person have caused each other pain, or this could be a third party, but it's really something to start off heavy, okay? It's heavy to start off. And then you've got here the four of swords, so from three to four. So the thing in the past, the energy in the past, it has escalated It it to be continued. It's a continuous pain, hurt, struggle challenges let's put it this way the challenges the struggle that you and your person have um it it, it never stopped some something uh, something in the way in the past that the, the struggle it has you know it has escalated it has um exponential because three of swords there's pain and then four of swords from three to four you are mentally um overthinking you you cannot stop thinking about this third party, this issue, this pain, this hurt, this betrayal. Um, there's a lot of pain points in the past, okay? It, it makes you worry. It makes you not able to sleep. It has caused you not being able to focus. Your happiness, your Leo energy, it's been affected by this betrayal, third party, um, pain, hurt for some of you. And the last card from the past is the King of Swords in reverse. So, the more you navigate from past to present, the more you realize that um, King of Swords in reverse, that you found lies, you found inconsistencies. There's something about the wrong setup between you and your person. King of Swords, this is, it's not going to work, okay? It's a feeling of there's or, there is a betrayal, there's inconsistency, pain, hurt in here. Then it escalated from three to four and then King of Swords in reverse. You come to a con you, you come to a conclusion, Leo, in here in the past that it's not gonna work. It it's getting worse and worse. Okay, so it made you realize that this is not gonna it's not gonna it's not worth fighting. It's not gonna work. It is aff affecting your Leo energy. So for some of you, you're still struggling to detach. But one thing is for sure, you have identified the culprit, you have identified the problem, you have identified the issue in here, okay? It's, 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 it's a matter of completely detaching, moving on, you're getting your Leo moment, Leo energy back. And as I said that, there's a sun, <laughs> there's a ray of sunshine in here. So I know it's difficult, you know, especially you started off with the three of swords and then escalated with the four of swords and then king of swords, you gave up. You know, you're an, you are in an energy of, I gave up. It's it's something I cannot control, out of control. It's some, the, the past energy, it's something that it is not right. It's not worth fighting. You you tried, you know, you, you really tried to put your best effort to fix it, to believe in it, to but it's just really wrong to stay, to chase, to wait for some of you. 
in the current energy, you are the wheel of fortune. For some of you, you have, you know, look at your hands. It's all up in the air. You have surrender. You have free flowingly surrender the, 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 the situation in the past. You surrendered. Like you, you said, I surrender with you. You know, you, you're telling your person, I give up with you. Or you're talking to the universe and your guide or to yourself. You're meditating like I surrender. This person, the situation, it, it's bringing you down and um, it is affecting your day-to-day, -day, your work, your career. Something with this person situation has caused you mental health, you know, like it really affects you for some of you guys. Um, that, you know, the, the moment you step away, you gave up, the moment you disconnect or you learn or you, you're really trying to disconnect for some of you, the more you feel enlightened, like there is a burden that is coming out of your shoulder, the more you accept that this is a failure, okay? Something failed in the past. Um, tons of reasons for some of it. The, the, the reason is different, but it's all about betrayal. It's all about inconsistencies. It's, it's all about lies. It's all about ego as well, because there's a lot of swords in here. Sword speaks about mind control as well. So the more, you know... As, in the current energy, you've decided, I'm going to free myself to this person, to this situation, because it's pulling you down. So as soon as you free that up, you are able to concentrate on your career, on your life, on yourself. And you're looking like happy in here. You're starting to manifest luck, because Wheel of Fortune is you're in luck. If you release, you remove yourself from this danger. Because look at this Three of Swords. This is a monster. King of Swords. This is illogical. It's like... You know, it's against the law for some of you. Um, the Wheel of Fortune and then Four of Wands and the Page of Swords. I really feel like this Page of Swords, this is someone new. Um, okay. In the immediate future and outcome, you've got the Ace of Cups. So right now, Leo, I really feel like there's a new energy coming your way, but you're not paying attention with it there's a new person there's a new person there's a new energy in in the current month in the current month i sense i feel that there is a new person around you a new love interest a new thing is 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 is, is getting your attention there is a new idea a new love interest who is getting your attention this experience from the past this is not connected to this person there's a new love a new love interest that is coming your way in the month of november um i really feel like the wheel of fortune you're all about career you're all about yourself you're all about really being easy go lucky because it's been a hard you know hard this hard times love in terms of the past, it's been difficult. So, Wheel of Fortune, you're focusing on your, your career, your finances, your focus, you're doing you. You're really into happiness, friendship, you know, um, like really dancing for some of you. Maybe you're physically dancing. But if you look at this person, he, he is surrendering. He's surrendering all of his... Um, there's something with your energy where you go... You, you Not not taking it seriously but it's more of you go with the flow you're free flowing you're going the flow you're dancing in the sun you're dancing whatever it is in in front of you you, you receive invitation with friends you go along with that you're very free you know you're enjoying your work enjoying your food you know as soon as you detach with this person your 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 life is back to normal thank you spirit so Whatever took place in the past, it's something bad. It's something not nice. It is giving you um, bad luck for some of you. So you decided to detach with that. And you're just really relaxed. You're just doing your thing. You know, you are going back to your normal routine. The Leo energy is back in this Wheel of Fortune. And it's in the current energy. And because you are in this in this energy, you're attracting a lot of attention. You know, your your, your mojo is back. For some of you, you will attract a new person, a new idea, a new project for some of you. But someone is paying attention with you. There's a love interest. There's new project. There's there's a lot of people interested with you, whether it's friends or family, reuniting, reconnecting. And of course, love interest as well. So as soon as you detach with this bad luck, bad energy, 
the universe is going to replace that with someone new. And this someone new could be a younger person, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But, you know, they're really happy to talk with you, to witty banter. They like your smartness. For some of you, this person have asked your number previously. And then they haven't gotten back to you. Now, you've received, you're going to receive this message, okay? There is stability on your way. In terms of love, romantic, friendship, family, you name it. There is stability um there is stability on your way all right lots of opportunity if you disconnect your energy from this heavy burden whatever took place in the past it is it brings out the monster in you it brings out the black leo it brings out the monster leo okay not the happy leo um they bring out the worst the lioness that scratch faces they bring out that person in you now you're more tame and more fun more flexible more free flow free flowing and that's why people are starting to notice you there is one specifically a love interest that would be interested to connect reconnect with you all right and then four of coins you're kind of scared will you try again will you go out of your comfort zone because you've just gotten your 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 you know because this is you. There's a web. You feel like you're very lucky. Like when there is no love, you feel so easy, free-flowing, like less obligation. It's just more of you, myself, time to myself, be happy. And then someone got your attention, you know. You felt threatened with new love, you know. This Four of Cups, it makes you feel afraid. It makes you feel afraid to love again, to try again. And then the Devil card comes along with an Ace of Cups. So while... In the current energy, you have a potential for new love, a new love interest that's not from your past. And you're scared, you're hiding, you're in your comfort zone. And then the past person who hurt you, who is like a soulmate, who have a huge love impact in your life, they will come back. Okay? The devil card. They bring along the devil card in energy and ace of cups. There's a past person in the immediate future will come back. It will overlap with the page of swords. This is a test from the universe, okay? Because the ace of cups in reverse. If you entertain this person, they will only give you a devil energy. And you might not be able to focus with this new person. Because this new person you will meet now onwards. This new person, it will grow. And then once you're getting to know, because you're just coming out from your comfort zone, you know, you're just trying it out with this new person. You're interested, but not yet 100%. This is what I get from here. And then while, while your baby step to allowing this new person to connect with you, because you've been burned in the past for some of you guys, um, the past person comes back. The past person realized that you are enjoying your moment with this new person they will see it in social media for some of you that you're dating someone or you keep posting about love about being happy so just a precaution there is new love and past love romance that would overlap you will have a choice i see this overlapping by the third week of november up to the last week of november you've got new love and a person from the past so I want you to be very smart who you choose and how you interact with these two opportunities. One from the past and one someone new. There's growth in here and in here I see closure and a new beginning as well to be honest with you. I leave it with you and enjoy this uh, moment Leo and again follow your intuition. You know what is best for you. Just follow your intuition. Okay? Thank you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.